For almost a decade, a civil war has been grinding on in Yemen, pushing the Arab world's poorest country to the brink of collapse. There has been less violence since a temporary ceasefire was agreed last year, but there is no sign of an end to the conflict. The war broke out in 2014 when Iranian-backed Houthi rebels seized the capital and much of the north. A Saudi-led coalition backed by the UK and the US intervened to restore the recognized government to power. In the midst of all the death and destruction, there is also resilience. Orla Guerin has returned to the city of Tayyiz in the southwest to see an extraordinary 11-year-old boy she first met there two years ago. Smiling through. Ah. <laughs> This is Ahmed Ragib. He's 11 years old, and he doesn't let much get in his way. He's heading to the river to get water, a daily ritual. Life was tough here, even before the war, but Ahmed is a fighter. He's been blind from birth, along with four of his siblings. We've come back to meet him at his home near a front line. It's very scary, he tells me. We're afraid of gunshots. When fighting starts, we can't go to the park or the valley or anywhere. When was the last time you heard fighting and explosions? Last night, he says. For Ahmed, school has always been a refuge of sorts. This was our first glimpse of him in January 2021, leading morning assembly at Al Wahda Primary. It was bombed by the Saudi led coalition when it was occupied by Houthi forces. Ahmed was leading the class at just nine years old. He had a wish list of repairs for the school, and viewers responded. Thanks to him. So this is the new school. Much has changed. Stairs up here. A Yemeni donor funded a new block and a British charity refurbished classrooms. Saudi Arabia, after years of bombing Yemen, is building another school nearby. Ahmed is pleased with the results and has plenty of big plans. I want to be a teacher pilot, engineer, driver, or a doctor. Do you think you'll be able to do all these things? Huh. Sure, I'll do everything, and I'll marry a beautiful city girl, and she'll make me biscuits. The girls here in the village don't know how to make good biscuits. Back at the river, Ahmed has a few moments of fun but childhood in Yemen is short. He is full of hope, full of promise, and he has already overcome so much, but he is still a child of war. Orlegiran, BBC News, Tyres.